Throughout FIFA, everybody's always asking who is the best players from specific leagues. Today, we're going to be showing you the best players from the Premier League and if they're worth it. We're starting off with a few honorable mentions that I do think are very good and also should have better versions in the near future and definitely would be worth looking at in general. So, Sonny Boy always incredible again could do with a nice upgrade now normally this card at team of the season is an absolute work of art we get all of the stats completely up to up to scratch he is normally a striker for me as well he's a four star five star at a minute with obviously the road to world cup version six foot with a high medium i believe he's yeah he's a four four star five star great pace great shooting dribbling's always nice little balance needed but an engine would sort that out good and proper stamina is also quite good and we have a few decent traits from him solid player finesse and team player and he's coming in at a whopping 610,000 coins so at the minute he is on that higher price bracket but most definitely one of the players that always gets mentioned at the start of the game from his gold version maybe a cheeky inform and then kind of later on in the end of the game if we see a foot birthday to get a 5-5 or obviously in team of the season if you're looking for coaching service foot champs rivals or just looking for generic coins 100k 500k a mil i I recommend using SkyCoach at skycoach.gg. Link will be in the description and make sure on your checkout to use the code JT11 for a discount on your order. Next up is going to be a big one from Winter Wildcard, so a relatively new version of him. And to be honest, he has been completely missed out in general from any sort of version. He hasn't, I don't think he's had a single upgrade until this Winter Wildcard version, which I believe he's now coming in at 367,000 coins so not a bad little move from him again would be one that really could be nice in a team of the season version don't think he's really done enough so we're going to have to hope for more in performance uh, non-performance based upgrades for him but a five star four star as well can play that striker cam center forward role I would probably say Hunter and on the wing could do him an absolute service. 5'11 would suit that sort of play as well. And obviously you'd get 98, uh, 98 acceleration and you'd get... 92 sprint speed i believe quick maths and then a bit more finishing which is always perfect we've got great agility balance on him composure's good ball control passing's all nice so i think a wing play for him in game would be way way better of an option he has got finesses so if you wanted to potentially go left wing you have got that cut in with the very very good shooting and again 360 61k for a forward not a bad little start. Now, this is one that I thought most definitely needs a big upgrade. I think he started the year incredibly strong. His 82 gold was fantastic. This is obviously his one to watch that still can be upgraded, but I think we're looking maybe like a Haaland sort of level. We need like a 90 to 91 to really get this guy back into the starting lineup of Prem players. He's only a three-star three-star, so there is a chance that foot birthday could be very, very nice to him with a big upgrade there. I think that again would make this card 10 times better because the lengthy aspect to start with was amazing for him he's got the high work rate the right foot 6-1 the positioning from him again is irrelevant you kind of go in just striker but his pace was always brilliant and the shooting especially with a bigger upgrade would be nice we've got the composure a little bit more balance on an upgrade would be nice strength and aggression's coming in clutch and he's got the finesse shot as well as the trait i think if we saw this guy a foot birthday at least 4-4. Four, four. You're looking pretty nice at a 90-91 most definitely. So definitely keep an eye out for Nunez in the near future. I think this card is probably a little bit past it. But it definitely is one to mention in the near future to make sure you're keeping an eye on this guy. Because I feel like he definitely could have a lot of work on him. Then we're on to the centre-back sort of role. Another new card with Winter Wild Cards Varane. Obviously coming in at a hefty price. I believe he is... A little bit more expensive than what you'd pay for a defender. He's coming in at just shy of 700,000 coins. But the reason I put him in here is you could still use his gold. 5k for an 84 and he will still do an absolute job. We've, I think I've personally got him in my back line with Virgil. And he still is absolute clutch. The pace is always good. You whack the shadow on, an anchor on. He's got everything about him. Little bit of passing. Obviously the composure's decent enough. We've got the reactions, ball control, defending and, and um, physical up always brilliant injury prone is the only one that we kind of got to work work for i think the winter wild cards is a little bit above budget for what he is worth you could obviously go and finish off a base maldini for about the price and 
you're going to get a good reaction back from both of them. But I think Gold Card, even if we're looking at his 84, is still a play in this kind of like the end of the build up now. Until we get to team of the season when we start seeing really cheap, high rated center backs, this guy at a gold is still going to do an absolute job. Now, onto the two keepers. Really, just mentioned in here because if you are not wanting to spend keeper money, you don't want to go and buy a Van der Sar for free 400k, you're not fancying a Yashin, and you're just quite happy with a keeper of any sort of caliber but in the higher sort of rating bracket, Allison and Edison are fantastic. Both of them, very, very good keepers. They don't really let yourself down too much. 6263, both of them coming in at 37,000 coins each. And as you can imagine, they're both relatively similar in stats. I think it's more kicking for Edison and more speed as well, whereas it's more positioning, reflex, handling, and that's it for, for uh, Allison. Personally, I do choose Edison. Goalkeeper long throw rushes out of goal, comes for crosses. They're going to be the main ones, personally. The long throw is quite a nice one if you want a quick counter off a throw, which is always good. But then you do have the kicking aspect for Edison as well. So just two to mention that they are good keepers to have in your net. Obviously, I always prefer Courtois personally, but most definitely don't overlook these two. Now, personally, one of my favorite coin-for-coin best gold cards you can physically get to change your team it's got to be our man virgil could be one of the late last years now where with his performances honestly I, I really don't think he could argue at a 90 rated next year i do think even if he drops one or two he's still going to be very very good in the game but at the minute the form is is pretty woeful from him hopefully he does kind of bring himself back for FIFA's sake because this card is an absolute monster. He's coming in, I think, about 70-something thousand coins. 77 from about a couple of hours ago from Footbin's prices. And by God, is he incredible. If you have got 100k and you are looking to do your defense and maybe, just maybe, you haven't got a Virgil already, make sure you get one because for 77k, he is absolutely solid. As you can imagine, 576 games played with him. Got him very, I think he was my first big walkout of the year and he has been an absolute gem in the back line. I will, I will go with anybody. If you're looking for price efficiency, this guy is number one on the list. There is not one player, I don't think, in the game that is gold. Mbappe, yes, is very, very good for the price, but 800k is still a lot of coins. You can buy a lot of players for that. For 77,000 coins, this guy is not being beaten, and I think he beats a lot of special cards as well. I do think with his uh, new special version, which I believe was, I want to say, World Cup Stories, I just wouldn't bother for a two upgrade. And I think it's like an extra. He's coming in at a million coins. Get the gold. The gold is going to do you an absolute job. Leadership and power header. He just naturally is incredible. And I could imagine a lot of people know what Virgil is like. He's in so many teams. It's unreal. And he's in there for a reason. On to a new one. And it's going to be Adama. I don't know why we haven't got. I've actually got a version of this. But we haven't got him in the team. A four star, four star. Again, another nightmare of a card. He can play striker and center forward. Unfortunately, can't play the right wing unless you change him in game. And again, he's just an absolute he's a nightmare to play against his pace is unreal the physicals are very nice he's just one of them cards that's just there for the trolls in terms of shooting it's not awful but i mean he's not necessarily going to be your leading striker but as a right wing the strength battle the pace is all brilliant and he can be lengthy as well fall down the wing to get faster later on in the sprints but if you have him either explosive as well that's going to just pay dividends for him also flair is the only trait he's got he can feel a little bit clunky on the dribble at full speed and the composure is a little bit lower but i think for 186,000 coins if you're just looking for a little bit of a different card i think this guy definitely comes in as one of them nice ones everybody loves an adama we get him every year and hopefully we do get a footage version again that really ramps up the, the the rating up to the 90 pluses because it's just all jokes with him he's an incredible player he's an absolute unit and he just is a pain. And then we go to another card that we get every year. That's going to be a Winter Wild Card St. Max. Again, incredible. Absolutely incredible. He is coming in at a price at about 520,000 coins. But the skills, the dribbling, everything about him is so, so smooth. I've been watching some gameplay of him as well. And just watching the top of the top play with him. I believe Run the Foot Market had a, a couple of clips with him. I've seen pros use him in just random videos. And oh my god, he looks absolutely nuts. The dribbling is so smooth. He's very agile. He's quick on the ball. Everything about this card is beautiful. As well as you can go and get more 
of a finishing on him. You go dead eye with him to get more passing and shooting. As the dribbling is already top tier, the pace is already fantastic. Already got a bit of strength as well, which is always nice. The only thing he's missing is a little bit more traits. And to be honest, if he got a 5-5, that would be, again, absolutely insane. If he's in a footies, a 94-95 St. Max, that, again, would be an absolute godsend of a card. If he doesn't manage to get team of the season, again, that would be a card that I think we haven't seen at all yet, but again, would be absolutely beautiful. Another double card with Kyle Walker. We have got the Path to Glory up now, but even either version of him, his Path to Glory or his gold, I believe his gold is coming in anywhere between 10 and 15,000 coins as an 85, or if you have got the big books to spend as a 670,000 coin right back, this guy is an absolute monster. The pace is incredible. Defending and physicals have been upgraded incredibly as well. Dribbling-wise, we're looking good. The composure is the only thing I have a problem with this version of him because we are spending over half a million coins on a right back. I would much rather go get the gold for efficiency and definitely will still do a lot of work. Even though there is quite a few right backs, it's almost like a Furland Mendy sort of vibe. When you've got a left back, you think of Furland, you think of Theo, you maybe think of Alfonso. In right backs, it's Hakimi, it's Walker. And I think that's about it. There's probably another one that I'm not thinking about. But them two are the, the two that I go to. We know they're quick. We know they've got good defending stats, decent physicals, good um, dribbling, and a bit of passing. That is all you need from a right back until we get to these sort of tier cards that everything starts to become good. We get 90 plus pace, 85 passing, 90 dribbling, 90 defending. That's when we get our pick of the lot, really. We can choose anybody that is incredible. The stats are almost center mid-based. But for now, and especially at the start of the game walker is always a great shout as well has a long throw in whether you actually utilize that personally i don't and then finally we have the big boy this for me is probably the best card in the prem and technically he's not because that's going to be a Yaya Torre. Now, this card introduced, I was absolutely gutted that he wasn't an icon. Because I would have loved a base, mid, prime, then before the game, moments, Yaya Torre. That would be incredible to see. He'd be the likes of Vieira. He'd be a Hullet. He'd be in there with Balak as that tall, physical, very, very good centre mid. Even though I will I will pay the dues, Hero, still a very good card. This card's coming in at 2 million coins, and also you can still get the Hero version, which is coming in at 650, which I still think both of them are incredible. Obviously, you'd go for the World Cup if you possibly could, but a 4-star, four 4-star, four 6-2 with a medium high. He has got outside of the foot as well, and the big thing with him is... He's just an all-round monster. He runs through. He's got shooting. He's got passing. The dribbling's really nice, especially for such a tall centre mid that doesn't necessarily have incredible amount of balance. He can run through people. He's got that strength and stamina. The defending's incredible as well. This guy is just a born box-to-box -box player, and he is an absolute gem. If you could get a, a midfield free of... Potentially, if we're looking for two big players and then a smaller player, Matthias, Hullet, and Yaya, or if you just went all out tall, Vieira, Hullet, and Yaya, that, that is a midfield to just end any game. They will control absolutely everything as the ball just sticks to them like glue. When we used Yaya many, many moons ago, he was just a, a unit. He just played so effortlessly. The passing was always on point. He had great pace with a shadow on him or a hunter, whatever you want to go with. Personally, I'd go shadow or anchor. They're going to be the ones. I'd probably say more shadow because we've already got a good amount of strength and aggression. And jumping wise, I don't think you need that much of an increase. So I would go all out pace all out defending, and you've got yourself an absolute unit. Obviously, there is some players in here that are necessarily top end for Prem, but we will be having a look at the best Prem in each position coming very, very soon. I believe some kind of extra added bonuses. We had a Robbie Keane, who is very good, but very highly priced as an SBC. Rashford's not a bad card. Haaland, obviously, will continue to go more, and we will do another one of these as we get more versions of different cars to see which ones are the best of the best in their positions in terms of prem so let me know down below anybody else you would add to this list go for the cheap ones if you want i had a look through quite a few and these were my top list of who is the best prem players you can get for the price but also for your actual team let me know what you think like and subscribe peace